Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm the Metaverse Pirate and I bought some months ago the program Fly. So there are three programs now. Fly, uh, EarthQuest, now called uh, World Lens, and of course World with three O's. And of course the original program Google Earth VR. And Fly you can now buy for $7 a one-time fee the AI assistant or called the AI concierge. So let's go to the program Fly. So I'm inside the program Fly over there, introducing the AI concierge. Never fly alone again with your new tour guide, uh, Learn More. Learn More. So I already uh, put that program inside. So I bought the program. So if, if I click on the menu button, there you have the AI concierge. Please enjoy this feature. Speak with the AI concierge by pressing uh, Y or B on the controller, selecting the wrist button or the AI icon, icon on the hut. So uh, let's do that. So I'm inside the uh, Louvre Museum. So I will go down a little bit inside the Louvre Museum. And now I will press the B button. Can you tell me more about the Louvre Museum when it was built and how many collections are inside? The Louvre Museum in Paris was originally a fortress built in the late 12th century by Philip II. It became a museum in 1793. It houses over 380,000 objects, with about 35,000 on display, featuring art from ancient to modern times. Well... It's more an assistant, so you cannot say to it, uh, bring me to this um, place or that place. So um, I can go to the street over there. So and now I can see the Louvre from behind over there. And I can walk around the Louvre. But to go inside the Louvre, that's uh, a bit difficult. So let's go to another uh, destination. Well, I just arrived in uh, the Vatican. That's St. Peter's Square over there, you can see. This is the Basilica of St. Peter. So let's have a look over there. So if I want to go to the street. And now I am in the street here in the Vatican over there. Um, there I can walk to the Vatican, hopefully. So if I want to know about the Vatican, I will ask my AI assistant. So I press the B button. Tell me more about the Vatican. When was the Vatican built in which year and which century? Century. The Vatican City is the world's smallest independent state, established in 1929 with the Lateran Treaty. It's the spiritual and administrative center of the Roman Catholic Church, home to St. Peter's Basilica, the Vatican Museums, and the Sistine Chapel. Well, it's more of an assistant. Well, uh, it's $7, uh, so uh, I will not be ruined by that. So, uh, But I must say Fly is the best uh, program which emulates the uh, Google Earth um, uh, VR over there. So let's go to another destinations. So uh, featured... Uh, let's go to Venice. Always like to go to Venice. So let's travel over there. Welcome to Venice. So I will try to travel to the Piazza San Marco over there. And hopefully I will see, that's the tower over there. And hopefully I will see something over there. Yes. Now I am in the uh, San Marco Square over there. And it was the um, disciple from Jesus, uh, Marcus, uh, Saint Marco, Marco in Italian over there. And legend uh, it had, it was buried over there. So I will ask the question over there. Tell me more about the San Marco Square in uh, Venice. Saint Mark Square, Piazza San Marco in Venice is the city's main public square known for its stunning architecture. Key landmarks include St. Mark's Basilica, the Campanile, and the Doge's Palace. It's a hub for social, political, and religious activities. 
legend has it that in the basilica in Venice of St. Mark, his remains are buried there. Is that right? St. Mark's Basilica in Venice is indeed believed to house the relics of St. Mark the Evangelist. According to legend, the remains were smuggled from Alexandria to Venice in 828 AD by Venetian merchants. Why does the disciple Marcus has a lion as a symbol? St. Mark is symbolized by a winged lion, representing courage, royalty, and resurrection. The lion also references the opening of his gospel, which speaks of John the Baptist's voice crying in the wilderness, akin to a lion's roar. Well, there you have it. So um, this is your A assistant. And it's, uh, well, very handy to know things uh, about certain. Um, so this is the square over there. Well, a coffee costs here are very expensive. <laughs> Uh, to summarize it, uh, I will go back to the uh, menu over there. So to summarize it, um, the best program yet is Fly, because if I want to use Google Earth VR, the program is six years old and never has been updated, um, I have to use my uh, laptop, my HP Victus over there, and it's um, and it's steam and 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 this is just fly, and fly is let's say ninety five percent the power, and the uh, user friendly friendliness. That's a tough word to pronounce. User friendliness of um, well Google Earth VR. There you have it. So uh, I love that thingy. So I will try to land here in the Grand Canal over there. Yes, this is the Grand Canal, and there we have it. So you can visit uh, any place. So the program Fly is about uh, 12 euros, about $15. Uh, well, check in the Meta Store over there. So there we have it. So I have my bookmarks over there. I have the British Museum, so I will go to the British Museum over there. We'll try to enter the British Museum Okay, I arrived in the British Museum, and now I will try to go inside. Does not work always, so British Museum. Okay, landing, hopefully. No, it's not working. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes, oh yes, now I have to go higher. One moment. Yes, there I am in the museum. Now I can travel from room to room over there. But I'm a bit a bit lost over there. So let's have a look over there. Uh, I've been there many years ago. So if I want to find the Egyptian collection. Oh, I think I see the Egyptian collection over there. No, it's Africa. Well, you get lost in here for uh, <laughs> hours and hours. But now I, I'm beginning to recognize it, so I have to go over there. And I think the Egyptian collection is the first room, if I'm not sure. The British Museum. So here I am. This is the checkpoint. Oh, by the way, um, the British Museum is free. No fee. <laughs> We're living in Great Britain, not in America. So... Um, you can go in for free. That's the incredible thing about the British Museum. Well, you can uh, spend here uh, days or perhaps weeks in the British Museum to visit. So I will click over there, London. Well, um, I like uh, my program. This is where my bookmarks over there. Uh, let's go to my hometown, Bruch. We'll ask a question about uh, my hometown. Just arrived in Bruges. Okay. Uh oh, I'm going down. <laughs> One moment, going up again. Yes. Okay, let's have a look over there. 
Oh yes, I'm in the street over there. And I will ask um, the AI, I press the V button. What can you tell me about Bruges in Belgium, the medieval city? Bruges, a medieval city in Belgium, is known for its well-preserved architecture, canals, and cobblestone streets. Highlights include the Belfry, Marked Square, and the Church of Our Lady. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, famous for its charm and history. Well, there we have it. So, uh, well, it's worth, worth the price, uh, $7. <laughs> so, I'm walking over here in Bruges. They can see the beautiful canals over there. So, um, uh, oh yes, uh, since uh, two months, the uh, some streets are uh, completely free of cars. Only uh, pedestrians and uh, bicycles. And the car is banned from the inner city, which is a very good thing for the tourists and all the, also the people who live there. Well, except if you have a car <laughs> and then you have to walk well to the nearest garage over there. So, uh, well, this is Bruch and it's cobblestones and it's uh, canals over there. So, okay. Ooh, what's that gentleman doing over there? Um... And here I am in the main street over there. Okay. Uh, let's go uh, up, up, up. Yes. Okay. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you again in a next video. Want to beam up, Mr. Scotty?